Art is so vital to our creativity and for our spirit. Many of us deal with obstacles and emotions through the expression of our craft. I look forward to exploring pieces of art that have been motivated by passion and spirituality. Today, I'm introducing my own work. So artists have an idea of what to expect as we move forward in this series. I am a surrealist and illustrator. I began to do work as an artist approximately 20 years ago. During that time, I spent 14 years in prison on a wrongful conviction directly related to my mental health symptoms. During that traumatic time, I lobbied for criminal justice and mental health reform and human rights violations, becoming a named plaintiff in a landmark case and the ACLU. The entire experience opened a deep drive inside of my heart to help others. I hope to raise awareness of the impact and stigma of our country's criminalization of mental health symptoms. While I was gone, art became my lifeline, a way to find hope and purpose in the face of darkness. I discovered I had a talent that I never knew existed. Even from that place of despair, something beautiful began to emerge. I painted over 5,600 paintings over those years. Each original painting represented a day and how I emotionally handled it. I love surrealism. It was my emotional escape into dream works of fantastic colors and imaginary lands. It was my waking dream every day over all those years alone. After winning relief on appeal and my release, my work has been blessed to travel the world. Galleries in Beijing, Singapore, Melbourne, Lebanon, Dubai, London, Art Basel, Miami, and even the heart of Times Square. The past year has been particularly incredible. I felt embraced by the NFT art community and traditional art spaces alike. Organizations like Randy Zuckerberg's The Hug have taken notice. And I'm humbled to be a senior curator on their platform, which is assisting in presenting this artist series beginning today. It's been a whirlwind of amazing interviews from the Associated Press to articles in publications like Bloomberg and Art News. What makes this all the more meaningful is the impact it lets me have. My work often addresses mental health and my experiences with the justice system. I hope my story can be a reminder that even in the most difficult of circumstances, there is always room for growth and transformation. There is always hope. Thank you so much for watching and for being a part of our journey. Together, we can explore spiritual development and healing here on Ascend From Within.